Okay, so you can always add to the three prime and the next nucleotide, and that's why you would add the next phosphodiester bond. You cannot add to the five prime end. just because of the arrangement of it. So just to review, because I wasn't recording before, each of these carbons, or each of these angles represents a carbon. They're denoted by this prime denotation, so one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, five prime. We use the three prime end of one carbon and attach it to the five prime end of the other carbon and the phosphorus in between it to make a phosphodiester bond. Okay, you all follow me so far? Okay, but we know that DNA has two strands, double stranded. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this strand and flip it upside down. And then I'm going to draw another one right side up. You could do that. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we could copy it. Let's see. Where's the... Is it this? This guy. Okay, copy, paste. All right, now I want to move it. Okay, so in the two strands, they aren't, um, they aren't left and right facing. Instead, one is going five prime to three prime, and the other one is turned upside down, three prime to five prime. Okay, right? So, so the top of this one on the left, what carbon is at the top on this one? Five prime, right? On this one, which carbon is at the top? Three and four. Three and two, right? Three. Right, so they're in opposite orientation upside down to each other. This is called anti parallel. So they are parallel, right? They're going the same direction, but. They are upside down in reference to each other. And what this allows it to do is form bonds between the nitrogenous bases. What kind of bonds do you think form here? Yes. So they form hydrogen bonds between the bases. And depending on which bases are there, they might form two or three hydrogen bonds. And the fact that it's hydrogen bonds is, is important because we know hydrogen bo bonds can be broken and reformed very easily, just like they do in water. And so if we want to open up DNA, all we have to do is break a hydrogen bond. That doesn't take that much energy. Um, but if we want DNA to stay together, you, can, you have a lot of these hydrogen bonds added up cumulatively. So as a full structure, all those hydrogen bonds are enough to hold it together. But it doesn't take much for an enzyme to go in and pull it apart if you want to then make a copy, add nucleotides, replicate, translate, sorry, transcribe. Which, is, which are processes which we'll talk about in the next few lectures. So anti-parallel is the direction in which they are um, facing each other. Right? So one is upside down towards the other. The two strands are anti-parallel. Right, like anti-Nephi Lehi's. They were Lehites, but they weren't Nephites. So they are parallel, but they're
but they're not in the same direction. Yeah. <laughs> Gospel application, right there. Okay, any questions? <laughs>